JustAZ.com production with JustAZ Hydroponics. Remove soil from a plant for use in a hydroponic system. For this project, you need an empty container, a bowl of water, and a vegetable seedling. To use a store-bought vegetable seedling in a hydroponic system, you need to remove the soil from the root ball. We have here a seedling in a peat pot. We remove the peat pot by simply breaking it away from the soil. If your seedling comes in a plastic starter pot, just take the plant out of the pot. Gently massage the root ball, letting the soil fall into a container. You can use the soil for your soil garden if you want. Keep massaging the root ball until the loose soil has fallen away. Dip the roots into a bowl of cool to room temperature water to loosen the remaining soil. Again, gently massage the roots, taking care to break down the clumps of soil and not break the roots. The seedling we have here is an Anaheim pepper plant, and it's about as large a seedling as you want to use for converting a soil plant for use in a hydroponic system. Lift the plant from the water and work the soil with your fingertips breaking down the clumps and untangling the roots. Repeat the process until the roots are hanging loosely and most of the soil is removed. Next we prep the plant. Prepare the plant for the hydroponic system by anchoring it in a net pot with clay pellets. Cover the bottom of the net pot with clay pellets and place the plant into the center of the pot. Fill in around the plant with the pellets. Clay pellets are an inert medium, meaning they do not provide nutrients or moisture to the plant and the plant doesn't react in any way to the pellets. All the pellets do is hold the plant in place. We'll do this a little bit quickly. Once you've filled in the pot, you're done. Just add the plant to your system, and before long, you'll have Anaheim peppers. Thanks for watching.